Hi guys, it's uh, I am responding Daniel here and today we're going to show you how to track a bunch of different things under membership profiles. This tends to be uh, issued gear such as bunker coats, uh, helmets, anything along that lines. And by tracking it by membership you can pull a report anytime like this and actually see anywhere, anytime in Excel or online through I am responding what the age of people's or members gear is. Um, it'll help you make better informed decisions and it keeps all the information in one place. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to be able to do this. And thanks for watching. All right, guys. So, what I'm going to show you today, you do have to be a system administrator for. So, hang tight. We're going to go in and we're going to show you how to do things to set up your eye responding. All right, so let's get started. With I am responding, uh, again, with this, you need to be uh, administrative. So let's go into administrative functions and then go to system settings. When you go into system settings, there's going to be several options. And what we're looking for is add member profile field. What is a member profile field? Well, I will show you. Now, I, a uh, member profile field is something that is contained within the member's profile. First name is a profile field, last name is a profile field, etc., etc. But if you scroll down, uh, there's all kinds of profile fields that exist. And they're all, of course, separated by sections. What we're going to do is put in custom ones that work for us in our department. And this could work in yours. There's many different things you could track in here if you want. But let's go back out to the main administrator page and we'll go system settings and add member profile fields. There's three types of member profile fields, and you'll see that in step two. The first type of member profile field is a empty box, so a text box, so you can enter in whatever you want. The second form is a date, and the third form is a yes or no checkbox. So using this, you can build a bunch of different things. In our department, we took it as a way to record two things. Number one, issued equipment. So any piece of issued equipment to any firefighter is recorded in here. The second thing is years of service. So we have five year service bars that we give out. In which case, uh, five year service bars, as soon as a member joins, it's easy to calculate based on their join date, uh, every date that it's required. So each time there's a banquet, you can run the report and see who's due for an award very, very easily. And it's not something you have to go dig through personnel files every time to look to see. It takes a lot of work to get the data in there, but in the end, the when you reap the rewards, it saves tons of time. So let's start with issue gear. First up, right off the bat, helmet. I like to start from the top and go to the bottom. That's just easier. You don't miss anything that way. First things first, helmet. So what I've done in my department is helmet make model. So helmet make model. So for instance, if we're running a Carnes or a Phoenix or whatever uh, the member has, we put that in the notes. So what type of field is this? And this is what I talked about before. You can have this as a date field, a text box, or a yes or no button. For make model, we want to be text box. Step three select which type of permission level a member has to have in order to be able to edit these fields. Basically, all said and done, when you have all your fields done, who do you want to have access to edit the information? So do you want a, you, your own firefighter to be able to add or remove uh, what helmet he has, or do you want to just leave that to the quartermaster or to the officers or administrators? Basically here, your options are as follows. If you, as a member, are able to edit everybody's profiles, then only then will you be able to edit the custom field. If you can only edit your own profile and not other members, then you won't be able to edit um, edit the everybody else's custom fields. So leave this right where it is if you only want administrators to be able to edit that information. Custom field type, you can actually put custom fields in for emergency contacts. I'll save that for another video. So you just want to select member custom field. And then this is where should it go. So this is an order. 
um, you can put it in order. Currently, I only have the one option here, so it's not like it's going to matter. And then hit enter. We're done. Helmet make model. Got that done. Helmet. Serial number. It's just good to have that. You don't have to use it, um, but I have. So you want that to be a text box again. Hit next. Hit next. And then I'm going to put that below. Enter. Next thing, helmet manufacture date. Helmet MFG date. Next. So in this case, we're going to go and we're going to hit date. And hit next. And then just keep hitting next. So you see, my manufacture date showed up. So let's go and say helmet light. Was a helmet light issued? Now you can put make, model, whatever, or you can just hit yes or no. Helmet light issued. Next. And then you simply select yes or no buttons. Hit next, next, and next. And then helmet light issued. So that's your basics on how to do it. This takes time. But you do not have to do this for each member. Once you set this up once, it's going to be in everybody's custom field. So to show you what I'm talking about, if you go back to your edit member section, let's go back to me. If I scroll down, there's now a new section called custom fields. And this is where everything would go. So helmet make would be a Kearns 664. I might spell that wrong. I'm not really care right now. But helmet serial number 123456 for amps, for example. Helmet date. Let's say it was manufactured August uh, 2016. You just simply hit August 1st or 31st, 2016. And was he issued a helmet like yes or no? And then when I'm done with that member, I hit update. And all I need to do is go to the next one. And let's say Steve Cunningham, who's a fake fire call, a firefighter in this, his fields are blank as well, so that I would enter in, let's say he's got a morning cry. All right, Honeywell. So let's say 56789 is his serial number. Manufacture date was. March 2018. Is this helmet light issue? No. So you'd hit enter. So once you have everybody's information entered, it's always available to you. You simply go down to membership roster and administrative functions. Hit uncheck all because you only want to check stuff that you need. Hit name. And then you scroll down and find your custom fields. So, helmet make model, helmet serial number, helmet manufacture date, and helmet light issued. And you hit run report. As you can see, my current 664. My helmet serial number, my manufacture date, light issued, morning pride for Steve Cunningham. You can even go and download this as an Excel file. Alright, so once you have it in Excel, your options to format, filter, or anything along those lines. You have the ability to um, have uh, filter it to however you want and format it however you want. So let me get some more information entered. Actually, I'll just show you my fire department one because it's easier than me having to do it all again. Great. So now I'm logged into my own personal fire department's I am responding page to show you what I've got set up and just to speed the process along. Disregard the first two; those are entered in as a test. For example, helmet, make, model, manufacture date, serial number, issue date. So when the member was issued that, bunker coat, make, model, manufacture date, serial number, 
uh, issue date. Coat cleaned and inspected. Bunker pants make model. Bunker pants manufacture date. Serial number. Issue date. Uh, custom gear. Gloves make model. So, bunker pants, serial number, issue date. Uh, pants cleaned and inspected. Custom gear, yes or no. Gloves make model. Manufacture date. Issue date. Boots, make, model, manufacture, issue date. Do you have an issued face piece? Flashlight, flash hood, coveralls, hard hat. Uh, what's your pager, make and model, serial number, issue date. VHF portable radio issue, that's for more of the officers. Make, model, issue date, serial number. Uh, radio, battery one issue date, battery two issue date. When you're an officer in the department, you get a radio with two batteries, so that way one can always be charged. You issued a portable for a TMR. Uh, make model, serial number, issue date. I've even gone to the point where I've put in here years of service prior to BBFD. So when somebody comes from another department, initial fire department plaque date, was it issued? When's their five year barn certificates due? Was it issued? 10 year uh, barn and federal certificate. Was it issued? Uh, 15 year bar, provincial, federal, cert, municipal, metal due. Was it issued? So I've had this set up all the way up to 50 years. Not saying every member will get it, but at the end of the day, you have the ability to track all that information. And you can actually go into your member roster, like I did before. And let's say I want to see how many people are eligible, or when people are eligible uh, for. Or, no, let's go flashlights. How many people are issued flashlights? So I want to, how many people are issued flashlights and how many people are issued a hard hat? You go down and you hit run report. So you're only pulling information that you want. You don't have to have a giant spreadsheet. You're only pulling information that you want. You can go back and let's say I want to see how many people are issued a custom face piece or a personal face piece, issued face piece. I can go here and hit run report. Anything you want, you can run. And keep in mind this is cloud based, so as long as you keep it up to date, you're fine. The time is going to be, um, the time is going to be spent for most people actually entering the information and the key is is you have to maintain that information so if I get issued a new pair of gloves I need to have that changed if I um, get issued a new uh, pair of bunker pants that needs to be entered in there some of the stuff that I have is not and I get that um, we're not the best at it I'm trying to get this implemented better in the department if your department is better when it comes to this stuff, then awesome. All right, as you can see, all this stuff right here is listed, and this is what it looks like in each member's profile. And here's that 15 year, 40 year, all this wonderful stuff. So next year, as of October 7th, I will, I am due for my um, 15 year uh, fire provincial certificate um, and municipal medal. The more time that you spend. Um, Keeping track of this information and keeping it up to date, the better it's going to yield results. So hopefully this will help you a lot more and it will help you organize your department. And the best thing is, is for instance, if you're running budgets uh, that year, you want to see how many helmets you need to buy if you use the 10 year mark, or you just want to see the overall age of your helmets in your department, you can go ahead and do so by, by setting up something like this and I am responding. So again, I hope it helps. It's another quick little how-to video. It's going to take a lot of time to enter that data in there. The best thing that you can do is grab a little push cart, an extension cord, and go from blocker to locker. The ultimate way to get an entry in, and then after that, he is making sure the person that issues the gear is the person that keeps it updated. Because if that's not the case, it's not worth your time. Cheers, it is I, Air Daniel, and don't forget to subscribe and like this page, and I hope that you're following this page, you're getting advice, you're getting tips, and just kind of get the thinking juices going. Because sometimes what I do in my department is not going to work for you, but it may spark an idea. And if you have an idea of something, or you guys do something a certain way, let me know in the comment section, and I'll certainly uh, look into it and maybe even do a video on it.